Hello everybody and welcome back to yet another unboxing video here at Phil's Corner. We've been on a bit of a roll over the past couple of weeks with the unboxing videos and we're keeping the streak going. Today, looking a bit more at MLS shirts and of course, as you can see here already, we're going to look particularly at the lovely new LA Galaxy away shirt because the club sent me one of the shirts. So thank you to LA Galaxy as we start the video. And for sending one of the shirts, I thought I'd take the opportunity not just to look at the shirt itself, we'll get into it, we'll do the usual thing we do here, looking at the juicy details of the kit. I thought I'd also do a bit of a look more broadly at MLS shirts in general because this year has been quite interesting. Many people have been talking in the community about the fact that MLS raised the prices of their authentic or player spec, player issue shirts uh, slightly this year. And for collectors, uh, particularly outside of the States, uh, it's becoming quite expensive to get hold of an authentic MLS shirt. So I've been getting many questions and again, there's been lots of chat about authentic MLS shirts. I thought it'd be a good opportunity to look more at this and to give a bit of an opinion on whether it's worth it to buy an MLS shirt in 2023. So lots to cover in today's video. I hope you find it useful, whatever sort of collector you are. And maybe you're just here to see the shirt. That's great as well. If you do enjoy anything about today's video, be sure to leave a like and comment. Tell me what you like about the video, what you like or dislike about the shirt. And don't forget to subscribe on your way out as well. Subscribers really are important to any YouTube channel, particularly a channel like mine, which is quite small. There's only a few thousand of us here, but it really does mean a lot if you do subscribe. And if you do, you'll find out when I go live. We usually do a stream every week here at Phil's Corner. We're shopping on eBay. We're ranking shirts on our series called The Hot Wall, our big tier list, which we update throughout the year of all the new releases. And there's topical videos like this one today and unboxing videos and all that sort of good stuff. So be sure, uh, again, to leave a like, a comment and subscribe if you're new here. But this is the new LA Galaxy shirt. And guys, I'm very excited. I wasn't sure what to expect. The club did uh, DM me and said they'd like to send a shirt. So I knew something was coming. I didn't know it would come in this really nice box though. And uh, many of you already know what the shirt looks like, but we're going to get into it. And I think I'm right in saying this is going to be the authentic version, the player spec version. So quick word on the box. Very nice, heavily branded. You can see on the side there um, nods to uh, what is going to be a feature on the design of the shirt itself. Um, and yeah, the colorway as well. You're already seeing hinted at on the box. It's just cardboard, nothing too crazy, but I will now get into the contents and there we go. I don't know if you can see that very well on the, uh, on the camera. Uh, look at that. The shirt is there and it is indeed the authentic version. So let's take this out. Oh, it comes with a scarf. I love this, guys. I love when you see um, these added extras. We talked about this in the Scotland video. I'll leave a link for that uh, at the top of the video. Uh, we just unboxed uh, the Scotland anniversary shirt. That came with a whiskey and a coin. This comes with a scarf. Very nice scarf indeed. Let's quickly look at this actually before we get to the shirt. As you'd expect, really, we've got the scarf uh, in the colors of the kit, and it is a really nice scarf indeed. Love the colors, and it feels quite soft as well. This is great, and it's funny, I don't really wear scarves a lot, even though I live in Yorkshire in the north of England. Uh, I probably could make use of them, but um, yeah, looks like it's made by uh, the brand Roughneck for that's worth. I've never heard of them. Um, very nice, very nice scarf indeed, and that's a nice little bonus. Did not expect to receive that. We're not here to talk about scarves. We're here to talk about shirts. And here we go. This is the new LA Galaxy away shirt. Wow, I must say guys, the colors of this one are absolutely stunning. It reminds me a lot um, of a Fluminense shirt, which I uh, had in my collection uh, a couple of years ago. Uh, that was from Umbro. But this is of course a nod to some of the early LA Galaxy kits. I can't remember whether it was the first year or the second year, um, but they did have uh, a shirt with some of these colors. And I must say, this looks absolutely beautiful in person. There's so many nice pops of color, uh, of course, with this lovely kind of green base, almost kind of green teal base, but that looks great. Uh, but what really lifts this one is the, uh, the gold and the red secondary color. And there's already things which I'm noticing, which I didn't actually know uh, were on the shirt. And I'll just show you some of the details. 
Uh, wow, this is lovely. Now, let's talk about this more uh, in detail. Let's start with the crest. Uh, love seeing uh, a bit of texture on these crests. And of course, uh, now plastic crests are quite common. But I think what really separates a good one from a bad one is when you've got a bit of texture. I will say it's quite thin. There's some pros and cons to that. Pros, uh, typically a thinner uh, plastic crest like this is a bit more comfortable to wear. Sometimes a, a chunky, stiffer badge can be uncomfortable. So in that sense, it's quite nice. It doesn't feel as kind of solid as it could. But then again, there is some texture there. And it does look and feel good. The detail, of course, is excellent. And similarly on the Adidas logo, Adidas again have made this a bit thinner than previous iterations of their player spec shirts. So again, really good from a comfort perspective. The sponsor is just a simple transfer, so that's not quite as quality. And actually on the note of quality, I've also the MLS League patch has taken a bit of a step back. Now, full disclosure, I've not actually uh, got hold of an authentic MLS shirt for the last couple of years. So this could have actually been something that's happened for a couple of seasons, but certainly from my perspective, Previous MLS uh, Lee patches have been uh, a thicker plastic, a bit more like the Crest here. This is more similar to just a transfer. Now, from a durability perspective, that would have me slightly worried. Um, and it's the same with the Apple TV logo, which I believe all teams have this year. That's a new feature, a new sleeve patch that's league-wide. Uh, but what's really good to see, actually, guys, is that the cuff design, which is a real standout, and it matches... The collar, of course, that goes all the way around. This is something which actually a few years ago, brands a few years ago would often leave a section of the sleeve cuffs unmatched. Um, and I don't know why that was, whether it was a pattern matching thing, I don't know. But that's good to see, uh, of course, on both cuffs, it goes all the way around. That looks great. Really, really like those cuffs. I mean, that alone is such a great detail. Uh, but what I love as well, if we turn the shirt over, you can see more nice touches. Now, even though it is a plain back, this back net detail is absolutely wonderful. I love seeing, again, we talked about with the crest, raised details, a bit of texture here. It adds so much compared to a simple transfer. Uh, and it looks great. I love the look of that. It really feels good. And the Adidas construction, the, uh, the latest Adidas uh, construction, which we have, looks really good. I love the paneling here. Getting the opportunity to see that red tertiary color, that dark red. Uh, on that panel looks great especially in combination with the gold uh, hem that looks really good you see just sections of the shirt like this which adds so much and even though the back again is plain really good to see the use of the colors there now what's quite interesting and we will talk about this more towards the end of the video when i talk about whether it's worth it to buy one of these shirts you might notice the eagle-eyed amongst you might notice that this is actually uh, adidas this replica level material and if we just flip the shirt back on the front by that, I mean that the shirt is actually aero ready. It's quite hard to see, but that you can see that says aero ready. Essentially, this means that the, the material, the base material, is the same as you get on your typical replica Adidas shirts. Now, this is really important to note for a couple of reasons. Again, we'll talk more about this uh, towards the latter part of the video. But essentially, this means that there is a combination of features which you would typically see on replica shirts combined with features that you'll see on player issue shirts now as much as we could say uh largely speaking i would say that this isn't necessarily a good thing if you're a collector and you're paying a lot of money for a player spec shirt uh, you want to get all the bells and whistles of adidas or, or any brand of course uh, that you're buying from we'll talk more about that towards the end of the video but that is just one thing to know and you may notice a couple of things as we go through just more on the shirt before we get to that Really like the jock dare detail, although it is just a transfer. So again, it's kind of a mixed bag here in terms of details. Some, like the career, like the back net detail, a little bit more quality. There's also a few details like this, which are just a transfer. It's really nice. Though. I believe that's the flag of LA, I think. Uh, but what's really cool is, of course, it helps tell the story of the kit. And I think this is one thing to note about details like this. When a detail, like a jock dare detail, which is a detail in the kind of bottom uh, corner of a shirt, uh, is on a kit, it really helps if that detail helps tell the narrative. And of course, uh, even if you weren't to know about what uh, this cuff pattern represented, if you then saw it with the flag, you immediately see, oh, there we go. It's the flag. It's a representation of the flag. But what's really cool is I like that they've just basically, as far as I can tell, just stuck the flag in its normal colors. And again, you see the narrative here. Not only is the shape of the flag uh, represented, but the color scheme is a bit different. It's a bit darker. 
Um, and I think it's a bit of a stronger color scheme in and of itself, but just having that jog day detail tells a story. So top, top stuff, even though the quality of the detail isn't amazing, really nice choice. And I've not even got on to the sleeve taping. This is a feature, of course, in uh, the latest Adidas player issue shirts, player spec shirts. Such a simple thing, guys, but if I just turn it inside out, uh, you can see here a return to uh, sleeve taping as we would have seen it. Uh, back in the day, back in the 90s, or indeed many previous decades. Um, does it actually matter? Well, I think it does. It certainly adds a lot of quality to the shirt because you can see here, and it may be hard to see on the camera. I don't know if I'll get the angles right here. Uh, but the taping, essentially, it just means that the uh, the quality and the durability of uh, these three stripes is so much stronger. It looks so much better. You get a nice kind of underlay here, which, of course, is the color uh, seen on the panel there. Uh, but it's raised in a really nice way and this is a big step up on uh, what we saw for a number of years which was just kind of plastic transfer three stripes of course for replica adidas shirts you have for a number of years got uh, stitched on stripes which are quite good again from a durability perspective but this uh, this style this sleeve taping style as opposed to just uh, stripes stitched on the top of the panel it's just so good to look at guys it feels good and it looks good and that is one of the best things about uh, adidas uh, player spec shirts at the moment just getting those really good sleeves and you get them uh, on long sleeve shirts sometimes all the way down the sleeves as well nothing on the inside neck that we can see but you do get a look at the collar and again really cool i mean that again from a quality perspective is really good like the cuffs and i must say guys i really do like the shirt things i would change and i've talked a bit about the quality of the details particularly but overall this is a really really strong shirt and this is just typical of mls shirts and actually before we got on to whether it's worth it to buy one of these kits just as a broad point it is a great year for mls kits we've seen so many standout designs uh, and in general mls is in a really good space at the moment from a design perspective adidas are putting out a lot more uh, thought into their kits compared to a few years ago when we saw a lot of rehash designs now it's quite typical to see bespoke features and even some of the more plain kits will have nice details there's a lot that could be said about league one manufacturers i don't think it's generally a good thing uh, i'd rather see leagues uh, adopt a more open approach but at the same time i think adidas are stepping it up at the moment and that's really good to see we get kits like this which are really strong and which have again key features this collar and cuff pattern won't be seen on other teams or at least if it did it would be very surprising uh, and there's many more. I mean, there's even bolder kits in this. This is actually one of the more kind of refined designs in the league, if anything. There are many uh, kit designs which are even more wild uh, and even more crazy from a color and pattern perspective. But that is the LA Galaxy 2023 Away shirt. Very excited to see this in person. It is absolutely gorgeous. The colors are so strong. And um, shout out to the club again for sending this over. But as we move to the second half of our video now, I want to ask the question, is it worth it to buy a player spec MLS shirt or an authentic MLS shirt? This is quite a complex subject. This is not just a case of cost against what you get, because actually one of the key things to say about MLS kits in particular is that the drop off from player issue or player spec to replica is steeper than other leagues. This is something which has been happening for quite a while now and season collectors will know exactly what I'm talking about. But if you're relatively new to the scene or just simply not following it as closely as people like myself, you spend far too much time looking at shirts. Let me just explain for you. Uh, typically, a player issue shirt will be essentially the same as a replica shirt in terms of uh, key details or design features, but with slightly better material, slightly higher application quality, a slightly slimmer fit, uh, maybe differences in the three stripes, that sort of thing. But with MLS shirts, the drop-off is much more stark and you will actually find that replica MLS shirts will be missing key features of a kit, even things like the stars above a crest. Now, in any other league around the world, uh, you would expect to have something like the stars, which usually signify championship wins and that sort of thing, uh, above the crest at any tier of shirt replica or player issue there are exceptions for things like basic shirts but we won't get into that for today's video but yeah you know if you buy a shirt and the team has a star above their crest 
uh, or maybe the country uh, has a star above their crest. You'd expect to see that at replica and player issue level. But in MLS shirts, replica MLS shirts will often be missing those stars. Things which you would simply expect to see aren't there. And it goes further. You will find things like collar designs, which again could be so integral to the aesthetic of a kit, missing on replica shirts. Things like jock tags will be missing. And some examples are more egregious than others. Some examples are more shocking than others. Often replica shirts look like cheap knockoffs in comparison. Now I'm looking as we speak uh, at the MLS store, the official MLS store. Um, and you can see here on the replica, and I'll share some better pictures so you can see properly. This is $90 uh, standards. This is a men's uh, size LA Galaxy uh, away shirt. And I mean, I didn't even mention, the cuffs are completely missing off the replica design. Plus, uh, the stars and the jock tags are key details which are missing. And I assume the back neck detail is missing too. Um, it probably is. And it's $90, that is not cheap. And the thing is, if the price of these replica shirts was a bit lower, say it was closer to kind of $60 uh, or something like that, I think there's an argument to be made that actually that would be somewhat of a uh, effective uh, option in the market you know you're paying a bit less but you're still getting the base of the shirt but here paying 90 dollars for a shirt which is missing so many of the details uh, of the shirt that the players are wearing is a big shame there is a reason for this this isn't just random essentially the american market works a bit differently to other markets like europe for example where uh, it's quite common in different sports uh, for there to be uh, authentic level or player spec level uh, kits and jerseys in other sports. But the differences are more stark in those. MLS have adopted an approach uh, where they do have distinct differences in order to help justify and affect the player spec tier. And we can't really fully explore this without speaking, of course, to MLS themselves or Adidas themselves in America. But yeah, basically details are deliberately left off to help justify that different tier and this whole kind of mindset this whole kind of attitude is ultimately not good for collectors because even the replica kits are still expensive of course here in the uk for example you would still see for example things like uh, the cuffs on the replica kit uh, of a uk team although of course that could change and there have been examples where things have been missing but yeah it's much more widespread in mls and there's lots to be said about that and that is a real shame because again from a collecting perspective it really is a bit of a knock to have a replica kit. That's not to put any shade on people who collect replica kits, and I indeed, in my collection, have a lot of replica kits. It would not be cost effective. I don't have an endless bit of money to buy uh, player issue shirts all the time, but it sucks that there is such a big difference. Um, and of course, as we hinted on as well, you're also not getting all the best uh, level of materials from Adidas here. Uh, with MLS kits compared to kits in other leagues. We talked about air already. Now for the average fan, they're not gonna care. And actually some people would actually prefer the fit sometimes or the comfort levels of replica kits, which is perfectly reasonable. But if you're a collector or you're someone who really appreciates details in a kit, at the end of the day, you get so much more uh, bang for your buck with heat ready, Adidas heat ready materials. And there's some examples, I'll show some pictures of shirts in my own collection. I don't have many heat ready shirts because again, they are more expensive, but I love the extra level of quality, the extra level of detail in particularly the base of the shirt. Don't get me wrong, replica Adidas shirts, I'm in a good place right now. The look and feel of area ready is pretty decent and it's been iterated on over several years to the point now where it is in a very good place. But again, you just get so much more with heat ready shirts and you do not have uh, heat ready material here. You have air ready and that is a notable point. I think particularly on shirts like this, which are quite plain on the base, it would benefit so much to have heat ready. It would look so much higher quality. Um, and it's just a real shame that we get essentially replica level materials uh, for a shirt that is priced as a player spec shirt. And I failed to mention the price actually uh, earlier on, but it is $160 for an authentic or player spec MLS shirt. Now that's without shipping. Uh, that's of course without any printing. If you want to get a name and number, you're looking at $195. Now these prices seem huge and they are huge. It isn't actually a massive uh, increase on uh, previous years. I believe it was only five or $10 up from last year. I might be wrong on that. But at the end of the day, the prices have gone up, but the quality hasn't really matched it. 
or hasn't justified uh, that increase. And uh, it's fair to say that at that sort of price, $160, you should be getting the very best from Adidas. Of course, even with the heat-ready material, that's a lot of money. But I think it's fair to say that there is a bit of a tension here. MLS kits are looking great at the moment. They are looking really good. I mean, honestly, guys, I'm very privileged to have been sent this shirt. Uh, and as part of my job, I do get sent stuff from time to time. And I'm very thankful to be in this privileged position. But I know if I wasn't sent this shirt, there would actually be a big dilemma here because I love the look of this. From a pure design perspective, this is one of the better shirts I have seen in the last couple of years. But I would be very torn on paying, certainly full price for these kits. And I think that really kind of brings me to my conclusion here. Um, of course, if you're someone who has a lot of expendable income, you can spend as much as you like on kits. Go mad, get some MLS kits because they are beautiful. But if like the majority of people, you're on a bit of a budget, let's face it, that's kind of 99% of us, isn't it? We can't just spend what we want every month. I would encourage you to actually kind of play the long game a bit when it comes to MLS kits. Many of these kits will be available in sales periods, so the end of the MLS season, Black Friday, things like that. And there have even been many examples of some of these kits, some of these MLS player spec kits making their way to discount retailers. Uh, even high street stores uh, in the UK. So it's very possible to get kits like this uh, on sale for much, much cheaper. We're talking 20, 30 pounds. I'm sure many of you will know that places like TK Maxx here in the UK have had some great deals on MLS kits. I myself have got some MLS authentic kits from TK Maxx and other discount retailers as well uh, are available, of course. Um, so that's one thing to know. And really, I hope this video has helped show you that actually MLS authentic shirts, whilst they are undoubtedly uh, very nice to look at. They are kind of in a bit of a weird tier where they're not quite at the same level and quality of player spec shirts, player spec Adidas shirts from other leagues. They kind of exist in this weird tier, which is somewhere between replica and authentic in terms of material quality, detail quality. Of course, if you know someone in the US or you know someone who's able to kind of get you a bit of a deal on these kits, that can really help. And there are people in the community who do things like bulk orders, which help reduce things like the cost of shipping, and indeed, it's not uncommon to see some MLS kits available uh, shipped from the UK, which again really helps with cost. So guys, I hope that isn't too much of a, a down note to end the video. Um, but I did want to make this video to talk a bit more about the state of play in 2023. Um, and it is a really difficult thing, guys. The shirts, MLS shirts have really looked this good from a design perspective. But there are real questions around the cost and the discrepancy between replica and player issue. And ultimately, I hope this video has been useful to you in some way, whatever type of collector you are. Uh, but that is gonna do it for today. So kind of highs and lows. The shirt here looks so good. I love the colors. I love this cuff design, how the story of the flag is told through the collar and cuffs. But at the end of the day, if I was to try and buy the shirt outright, it would be a difficult decision. It certainly wouldn't be a snap purchase at RRP. I'd be looking out for things at sales, maybe trading a couple of shirts to get it and that sort of thing. But let me know what you think of the kit and let me know what you think of MLS shirts in general. Do you own any? What do you think of them if you do? Thank you so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to leave a like and comment if you enjoyed this and to subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you soon for another video or live stream. Take care.